Hi, my name is Agent Mead, and today I'm going to convert a hoverboard into a go-kart. Here's what you'll need. A hoverboard, a buggy or go-kart attachment, tools for the buggy assembly, and safety gear and equipment. I'll be using this Hover One Ranger hoverboard. It's an excellent option with a six mile range and seven miles per hour max speed. I wanna make sure that it's fully charged, so I'll plug it in while I assemble the buggy attachment. The buggy attachment I'll be assembling is the Hover One Raptor. This attachment has two control handles, fog blasters with sound effects, and double shocks to help make the ride more comfortable. This Hover One Raptor comes with adjustable straps, which helps make it compatible with most hoverboards with wheel sizes between six and 10 inches. Before we start the assembly, I'll plug the fog blaster in so it can charge. It can take approximately four hours to get to full charge. Also, you may want to consider protecting the surface you're working on with a towel or blanket. Okay, now let's get to the building. First, lay the seat frame down on a sturdy surface. Next, you'll want to lift this middle section. Then align the suspension bars with the two U-shaped holders located on the rear beam. Insert the 8x38 screw and secure the 8mm nut to the screw. Tighten it with the included wrench and hex key. Repeat this process on the other suspension bar. Now slide the left handlebar into the seat frame like this. Make sure to align the holes in the seat frame with the handlebar. Insert the 8x38 screw and secure with the 8mm nut. Again, tighten with the included wrench and hex key. Next, you guessed it, is to repeat with the right handlebar. If you plan on using the included flag, place the flag holder on top of the seat frame and align the holes before securing with the screw and nut. Now, moving to the front of the buggy attachment, insert the front frame piece into the seat frame. Make sure the wheel is on the underside. Then, adjust the frame to the desired length by sliding the front frame piece in and out. Insert the two lockers into the U-shaped holders once you have it at the desired size. And secure the lockers with plastic caps. Now, you want to hand tighten the lockers and press the handles in to lock into place. After the fog blaster has finished charging, disconnect and attach the mount to the underside of the fog blaster using the four mounting screws. Once the mount is on the fog blaster, align the two holes on the fog blaster mount with the two rear holes on the seat frame. Place the seat on top of the fog blaster mount and seat frame, making sure to align the four holes of the seat with the seat frame. Secure the seat to the seat frame with four screws and nuts. Now that the buggy attachment has been assembled, let's get it attached to the hoverboard. First, make sure the hoverboard is off. Set the pedal mounts of the seat frame onto the hoverboard foot locations. Make sure to keep even spacing on the hoverboard. Insert one end of the adjustable strap to the front of the left pedal mount and secure the strap to itself. Now wrap the strap under the hoverboard, ensuring the textured rubber protector faces the ground. Insert the other end of the strap to the back of the pedal mount and secure it to itself. Once that is done, repeat the process on the right side. If you use the flag, assemble it and insert it into the flag holder. As I mentioned earlier, this buggy attachment includes a fog blaster with built-in sound effects. Let's fill the fog blaster up to get some fog trails when riding around. First thing, make sure it is not plugged in. You don't want to mix water and electricity. Press down on the water tank fill port and pour water into the fill port. Take care not to overfill the water tank. Once you fill one water tank, fill the other one with the same process. When you want to use the fog blaster, press the power button. This is the button that is closest to the back of the seat. Then press the fog and sound effect button below the power button. Each fog and sound effect button press will allow you to cycle through three sound effects. Now we're ready to have some fun. A couple of things before getting on and taking off. Make sure you're wearing proper fitting safety equipment. This could include a helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, and wrist guards. Once you're good on safety equipment, you'll want to double check that all screws are tight and secure. Also, check that the tires on the hoverboard aren't worn down and the straps that secure the buggy are attached appropriately. Power on the hoverboard and the fog blaster if you want to show off with some trails. Sit in the seat and place your feet on the footrests. Grip the handlebars and press both downward to move forward. When riding, pull both handles upward to brake. If you need to go in reverse, pull both handles up. To turn left, push the right handle downwards while keeping the left handle in a neutral position. Turning right just means you do the opposite. And there you go. 
Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.